As we prepare for our North Dakota battle in the Alara Center on Saturday, the Bison know that they have a couple of big challenges as they make the trip up to Grand Forks to face the Fighting Hawks. We talked earlier today about the hostile crowd that the Bison will have to compete with, but there's another big factor on the field. The Bison defense is preparing to go head to head with a Fighting Hawk offense that has performed at an extremely high level all season long. Not only do they have an experienced quarterback in the form of Tommy Schuster, but there are a ton of weapons at receiver, running back, and even tight end for the Hawks. A member of Code Green told us earlier today that the Hawks might have the best offensive lines the Bison have had to face all year as well. We asked the Bison defense about what they're preparing for heading into this rivalry weekend. They're extremely talented. Uh, I believe their quarterback has thrown zero interceptions this year. I believe he hasn't been sacked this year. Um, he's quick, he's athletic, he's able to get out of the pocket. And so starts up front with our D-line. They're going to have to do a great job of getting to him, getting home on him, which I have no doubt that they're going to do. And it's going to be a big test, um, but we're excited. And we're going to be working our butts off this week to, uh, to be prepared for them. Now, the Bison have seemed to have an answer for the UND offense since they resumed their rivalry back in 2015. North Dakota State is 5-0 against the Hawks in that span. We'll see if history repeats itself or if the Hawks can break that streak this Saturday up in Grand Forks. Some high school volleyball action night in an EDC showdown. The Davies Eagles winning nine of the last ten games. Looking to keep that going against Cheyenne. They're off to a big run to start this one off. They're up 7 nothing, and the front row is going to add to that. Leah Lockway with a brutal block eight unanswered points to start this one off for Davies. They would hold a double digit lead at one point in the first set, but Cheyenne's starting to battle back here. The set up to the outside. Jada Langlois fires the kill shot to the back row. Mustangs cutting that lead to just five. That's as close as this one's going to get, though. Davies back on the attack here with a nine point lead. The front row strikes again. This time Lockway just taps it over to the other side, finds the floor. The Eagles looking to close this one out on the set point now. Shot from the outside rejected by Lauren Barth. Eagles win the first set 25 to 12, and they're going to win the next two as well. Davies with a sweep over their EDC foes. They're now 12 and three in conference play. Minnesota Twins are now in survival mode. Minnesota falling in Game 3 of the American League Division Series to the Houston Astros in Target Field. This one got off to a certainly less than ideal start with Houston jumping out to a 4-0 lead in the first inning. And they never looked back on their way to a 9-1 win. The best of five series now rolls into tomorrow afternoon in the Twin Cities. Now, if Minnesota wins, they'll force a fifth game down in Texas. If they lose, their season is over. No pressure. I don't want to. It's deflating. <laughs> you get a home crowd too, but they take them right out of it. They'll give them well, four it, runs the first. They split things down in Houston for the first two That's games. True. We'll see if that history yeah. repeats itself in Minnesota, yeah. and then maybe we'll get game five. Yeah, I'm not quite, quite done with baseball yet, so yeah. let's nope. keep it going. Busy time of year. Baseball, <laughs> football, <laughs> hockey, basketball. Sorry. Everything's going on right now. Summer's back into it. We'll look at your forecast as the weather continues next.